Um, but anyways, back to Borderlands 2. Um, right now we are in, uh, at the moment we are in Three Horns Valley. Um, we are at the Happy Pig Motel. You'll spawn right here after i am show you what we got to do. First what you got to do is you come over here, run all the way over here. Um, a lot of people take the car, but I find that, you know, walking is a little bit faster than actually getting in a car, going over here and whatnot, and jumping out. And basically put all my uh, points into the Gorilla. Um, I like that the Saber turret actually fires a lot of bursts and also that the multi-rocket pods for my turret is actually wonderful for this boss at the moment. Um, so what I do is I basically I deploy my turret and basically what it does is it kills all these little all the ads and what we're looking for is this boss right here it's called Bad Maul and basically my turret will basically level his ass completely. Look at that shit. Basically leveled him. And after all the, all the ads and all the mods are done, you basically come over here, pick up all your all your all the goods goodies and shit that, that dropped. Unfortunately this stupid health is in the way. But what we're looking for is this thing right here. We're looking for this. Uh the, the radium. Basically this boss drops a lot of them. Um, sometimes one stack, sometimes a couple. Um, but after that's done, what you do is you'll hit start, because I actually I am on PS3. You go to quit, go to save to quit. Basically, the game will save itself. Then once you get to the lobby, you're going to continue. So hit if you continue. And as, as I said at the beginning of the, the video, that you'll basically start at Happy Pig Motel. So basically here we are, we're basically started right where we're at. And so basically what, you, what you'll do is basically uh, repeat and then rinse. And you just keep doing it until you get to the points of what you need. All my turret on him. Actually, you know what? We're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to use my acid. Rocket launcher. Eh, come on, die. You know you want to die. There you go. So, like I said, here's two stacks right there. And I'm basically only here for the guns and the, uh, the uranium. This has one stack. This right here has a four stack, which is pretty good. So I'm at 26 right now. So like I said, that's what you'll do for that. Grab my, grab my vehicle, deploy, teleport, and basically what I'm gonna do is it's not too far from Happy Pig Motel. It's it's like like a walking distance, really. I mean, I could walk to it if I wanted to, but unfortunately, I'm lazy. What we're looking for are these things right here. And what you do is you basically smash them. And what you're looking for are these guys right here. You're looking for these bad boys, the Carlies. Um, but you gotta be careful because they do spit, um, they do spit crystals at you, and it's basically like a grenade, and they will drop your shield like really fast if you're not careful. So my best bet is don't get overwhelmed by them, because um, there's a lot of them that do spawn in this area, but only if you're if you're nearby them. So like I said, my best bet is to play it safe. Use your special abilities if you have them. Like right now, I am going to use my turret. And what you have to do is shoot their three legs. They have three legs with crystals on them. And they will drop the money that you're looking for. And they drop pretty much a good quality of uh, money. 
And there's three of them. After the third one's dead, they, they, he dies. And what you do is you just go over here and collect it. Sometimes you'll get nine. Sometimes one, I got, at one point I got close to, I want to say 56 in one of them. So that was pretty good. There's three of them. Like I said, there's that big ass thing right there, the big crystal that he just spit out. And they do drop your shield. So you do have to run. And there's a lot of them. So don't get over, over too wound. And they'll die, and you collect all the money. And there's a lot of it. Sometimes, like I said, those racks are a bitch after you kill one of those bosses. Those racks do decide to be dicks and they do decide to spawn. And there's a lot of them. Sometimes I give you money, sometimes I don't. And more of them spawn. And you just, like I said, you just shoot all three of those legs. My turret is actually doing its job. It's basically uh, lowering them down a little bit to help me out. And there's another one over here. And just shoot. Shoot the legs. Make sure you're, that you're avoiding his spit shit that he throws out. The bigger ones are the ones you got to worry about because they will drop a person's shield that has a lot of shields. The little ones don't really hurt too bad, but they do hurt. And if you're not careful, you will get overwhelmed and you will die. Right, right now, I am at 14,898. And like I said, you just you just collect all of it. And they also do have the littles. Uh, there's those stupid racks again. They like to fucking be dicks. There are these little ones right here that you can smash. There's a lot of them. Alright. Get this last rack here. Okay. So after that's all done, after you do all that, basically what you're going to do is you're going to do a big ass loop-de-loop. -loop. This whole circle right here, like right around there, you're basically going to walk it. You're going to walk all around in here. And that's where all those little ads and bosses are. Uh, it's a quest that you get from Ellie over there and it's basically uh, the Clam War. And uh, where I'm at right now is I'm in the Highlands, basically Outlook. And where you want to go is you want to go to the Holy Spirits. Now is the Clam War end of the Empire, or Rainbow. And what, what they ask you to do is you come over here and you grab this little uh, device on the floor. You listen to it. Basically what you got to do is you got to find follow this Leprechaun. It's probably one of my favorite quests, only because it's Irish, and I'm 85% Irish, so I like this quest. When he says that, that's when you usually jump down. Jump down. And there he is, right over there. And you just kill him. Simple as that. You pick up the key, the bagman's key. Uh, fortunately, he does a little acid on you. You pick up the key. And there's there's ten boxes that you gotta find, basically all around in this area. And there's there's a whole shitload of uh, chests and boxes, and you open them and their whole crap load of money. Alright, so that's it. We basically opened all these chests in this, in this stash area and it basically says use key to op open exit. 
which is this right here. For what I saw from this is not to do it. Don't unlock the key. Actually, what you do is you quit and save. Quit and save, and then log back in. And yes, like I said, it will fail the mission. But if you go back upstairs and grab the little little device on the floor and listen to it, you can basically rinse and repeat. 